Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to some more Subnautica on creative mode. I have another base tour I want to share with you guys today. This one is huge. It took me quite a while. It's still probably there are so many better ones out there, but I am actually really proud of this one. I think it looks pretty freaking cool and it has some structure to it about what places are and everything like that. So in the one of the videos to my survival gameplay of Subnautica we come across this thing that said about a underwater um, hotel so that is what we have we are in the mushroom area and I would like to introduce to you guys the shroom hotel hello this is this is the hotel that I have built it's a very topsy-turvy let's have a Let's have a little look around. So there are two main entrances. It's a pretty, it's kind of actually quite laggy. I apologize. Um, okay, so yes, this is, this is it. This is, this is the cool ass, badass hotel. Oh crap. Oh god. It's still creepy on creative mode. Um, so yeah, this is a badass, creepy hotel that I have been working on. And I just took a screenshot. So yeah, this is this is what it looks like. There are two entrances to which the guests will come through. So let's go let's go down here and pretend we're coming in. So there is an entrance here with a little a little garden and there is also an entrance here with a little garden and this is where the guests will come in so they'll come in Welcome aboard, Captain. through this door this is oh my god I feel so I feel so stupid but I'm actually so freaking excited to show you guys this okay right we have there are tons of med kits around just because you know you're underwater you need to be safe um, there needs to be a lot around so there are rooms this way there are rooms this way the canteen is this way these two desks are the check-in desks of where you get your room numbers and everything like that this is so oh god okay right and then up here is the crew quarters I will first I will first take you guys down here to these rooms so down here we have a nice all glass tunnels gotta gotta look at that view um so yeah all down here so in front of us we have room 107 um to the left we have room 108 and then to the right we have room 109 they all have doors they are all proper hotel rooms we can shut the doors and we can go in a lot of the rooms look fairly similar but we go into room 108 this one we got some lockers, we got some little plants, lots of knick-knacky stuff. I tried my best to make them look, I don't know, hotel-like, like you've gone and got some souvenirs and you've just come back to your room, dropped them off, blah, blah, blah. Um, this one is pretty cool because it has a fish tank in it. Um, and then, yeah, a lot of the rooms have coffee machines. So this one, we have a double bed and a single bed. A little place for you to sit and look at the view. So that is room 108. A lot of the rooms, like I said, do look fairly similar. So room 107. No, that was room 109. Oh, 109. Room 107. This one is two singles for, you know, if you just come in with a friend. We have a little plant wall. Again, just basic stuff, you know, basic kind of hotel room, lots of first aid kits, lots of charging ports and things like that. So room 108 is this way. And this one's cool because this one has the door a little bit further back. So you have this little like, you have this glass kind of entranceway thing here. And then this one is has a little desk, co coffee machine, posters, little pictures, some plants. This one is very nice. I actually kind of like this one because it's minimalistic-ish. Um, but we have lots of plants, of course, edible lantern fruits, um, and then just a nice, a nice little, a nice little view. Um, so, 
so those are three of the rooms. I will go down this end and show you guys these rooms. So in here we just have a little kind of room where you can grab some snacks, maybe have a little chat with some friends, grab a coffee, all that kind of good stuff. So this way we have rooms 101, 102, 103, 104 and 105. So let's go, we're going to our room. I don't know, I'm so excited for this, it's kind of stupid. This is a bit where somebody works just to like, you know, keep you on your toes, I guess. Keep you, in case you have any questions, there is another person here. He is called Gargi and he will answer any of your questions. So room 105 is this way. This room, I should actually do this room last, but... This room is a pretty cool, lots of stuff in it. It's pretty a pretty special room because it has two entrances. So you can come in through that way, which is with the reception, which is there, or you can come in through this way, which this way just leads around to the canteen. And I will show you guys that after I have showed you guys the rest of these rooms. So we have rooms 101, 102, 103, and 104 down here. You have to be nimble. You gotta be nimble to come on this like little adventure um, thing. It's Cause you need to be able to climb lots of ladders. So this is just a charging station place thing where you can just come chill out, charge your stuff and go back, get some snacks. And then we go down again, again this is just a little kind of like wreck type room I guess you could call it. Just some plants, some coffee machines, a little fish tank, just another little chill out area. Um, so this way we have room 103. Again just two uh, single beds, some lockers, some first aid things, lots of plants, a table, your basic kind of hotel room and then this way we have room 104 which is through here just another another basic kind of hotel room this one's kind of weird because you can see all over there so the people in the observation deck can see you sleep but it's not a problem we're all friends here and that's that's, that's kind of weird so it's kind of creepy um, but then we carry on going down. This is another kind of a, kind of like a little communal area just between the rooms because I didn't want a ladder going from one room to the next because that's a bit, you know, a bit too much to have to go through someone else's room to get to your own room. So downstairs again, we have a little leisure room type place. So through here is room 102. Again, just simple. This one's actually pretty basic compared to the others. These kind of containers I have used as like cups, but you kind of can't really see them. So yeah, that is room, what room was this? Room 102. And then through here we have room 106. I really quite like this room because I like this, I like this corridor. It's pretty cool. And again, we have the door. So you have a little window here which you can look out into the, um, the, what do you call that? What do you call that? What is that? The moon pool, where they repair the subs and stuff. So again, another kind of basic room. Some of the rooms have radio stations, some of them don't. Um, coffee, lots of stuff. Just your basic room again. So let's go back through this awesome little corridor and I'll take you guys down to the leisure room so this is just a little room where again you can chill out you can have some snacks I didn't plant in here why didn't I plant let's put one of those in there okay um so yeah enjoy your stay coffee machine you know just chill out and then down here we have the last room which is room 101. So there aren't very many rooms in this hotel, but there are a fair few. It's kind of like you come with somebody else that you want to come with and everything like that. So this one, again, is just a basic 
basic room with different souvenirs and stuff like that. I like these little mushroom plants. Um, but yeah, that is the uh, last room. That is the last hotel room. You guys have seen all of the hotel rooms now. Okay, so we are in the reception area again. What I'm going to do before we go through to the canteen, I want to show you guys the crew quarters which I have made. So the crew quarters are up here. So again, just some simple stuff for the crew to hang out, chill out, all that good stuff. Have a good day, crew. Oh my god, I've thought of everything. Okay, <laughs> so we come up again and it is just another like little chill out area. The captain and crew area is this way. So we go down here. Again, another little area with some fish. We have the captain's quarters, the crew quarters, and a storage room this way. So this is all out of the way of the residence to the hotel. So this is the storage room. We have some containers, lots of first aid kit backups, um, a water filtration system, and just some junk on the floor that we found about. So we carry on going up and we have yet another little um area where we can look out and pretty much see the whole hotel it's getting morning so it looks pretty it looks pretty freaking cool right now um so the captain's quarters is this way the captain's room is a lot there's a lot of stuff in here because he needs to charge his stuff and he has a uh, modification station a little desk where he does some work table a bin everything like that and of course the bed which is the most important part of a room so then we carry on going back up and then this is where i decided that we would have a ladder in the bedrooms so as you come up to this floor you have this crew area here which has three beds um some storage radio obviously um and a fabrication station and then we go up again and we will be in the other um the other crew quarters the reason i decided to have it like this is because they are their crew and they're not guests not that like oh their crew they like you can walk through their bedroom to get to yours but i just thought it kind of made a bit more sense to have it like this so this is the another crew room and then we go up again and we have this little area here where they can come and grab coffee and everything like that and we have an exit here which is kind of like an emergency exit or if the crew go out and do their stuff and then they come back in and this is the way that they can come back in so this here is an observation deck for the captain and the captain only because he can see literally the whole hotel which is freaking awesome in my opinion so that is the uh, that is the crew quarters what i will do is i'll go out here so yeah we have the uh, captain's room in here and all of that is just crew quarters and stuff where people are not allowed to go so if I come back and we go back through the main entrance, welcome aboard, Captain. We are in the reception again, and we go through here to the canteen. We are going through the canteen, and there's lots of tables and chairs and stuff down here. Down here is a staff area only. We have an observation deck and the indoor grow bed. Grow beds <laughs> where the food and everything is done for the guests so through here we have more canteen space and welcome take what you like and have a good day so we could take all the snacks that you need and all the coffee and everything like that lots of coffee um so room 105 is this way this is the room that has the two entrances is it 105 it is 105 okay yeah so this room has two entrances so you can close that door and you can also close this door so you can leave this room and go straight into the canteen if you like 
but obviously people from the canteen can't go this way unless it's your room and um, because I've hidden a sign here that says room 105 guests only oh and it's hidden behind a tree great stuff and then we have a little reef back and jelly ray picture then we can go down to the staff only area and the indoor grow beds so this is the food area we have some seeds um just pretty much a food there's food and fish this way which we prepare for the guests um so yeah keep area clean keep area clean so yeah just a food prep area and then we go down again and it's kind of like a little place for the crew to um chill out and eat this is a emergency exit only only for the crew that is here in case they can't make it up to um the top so we have an observation deck down here with three observation pots the observation deck there is staff rooms below because there are three pods so there are three rooms below which three members of staff stay in this area of the hotel not like all the time but this is like their main area um remember every member of staff must report hourly because you know this is real life and um, so we have this little desk here where they can see out another desk here and then the other desk here um also we go down we go down and we have room 112 room 113 and room 114 i like the layout of these rooms more than i like the layout of the rooms to the guests just because i've made these more like you live down here kind of thing like you work down here so you're down here for like a fair few weeks or months out of the year kind of thing so we have a tree which has stupidly overgrown and is hiding all of my knickknack stuff oh my god i didn't think that that would happen okay so yeah all the crew have like charging stations and everything like that so we have a desk i like this layout of the bed being here with this little um this little cupboard thing behind it and you can just like look out it's pretty it's pretty freaking cool um and then yeah just some seating areas and a locker there so room 113 is this way again this one has a vending machine lots of locker space um charging stations a little desk to do work write letters all that kind of good stuff and then the other room which is down here I like this one as well because I decided to go for a kind of different kind of thing and put the bed smack bang in the middle of the room so I think it looks pretty cool again a desk some chairs and stuff so you can just look out onto the mushroom area and hope that that wreckage does not fall to the floor so that is this area down here um, completely done so I've showed you guys most of the areas that are in the hotel room the only rooms that I have left to show you are some rooms that you can't get to without going outside so if we go up back to this little canteen area we can come down here and we have alien containment this way um stay safe you're a tour exit only stay with your guide so the whole idea here was that the guests could come with a guide to have a look at all of the alien creatures we have in the alien containment so we leave out of this door we have a little a little cute little garden here which you can have a look at all of the cool little um trees and bushes but through here is the alien containment so we have little things thank you for joining the tour and be safe and then 
here it is here is the little alien containment that we have um welcome to the alien containment stay with your guide so we have a lot of creatures in here we have kind of like the ones that you guys have seen in my other base we have a little i wanted to try and put in here kind of like the creepy ones that could be deadly i did i tried to spawn a reaper leviathan in the alien containment tank but he just he was just floating about outside and he was constantly attacking the rooms and everything um so i couldn't do that so in here we have the cuttlefish and everything like that we have the creepy like crab snake a crab uh, a crash fish um the reef back and some other stuff not really deadly things but still you need to be safe um this ladder just goes all the way down to the bottom and down the bottom there is a little seating area where you can sit and admire the um admire the little fishies in the little tank so the only other places that i have to show you are out of the um out of the main base and you can't get to them without being out here so i'll just quickly go over and show you guys the room down here that i told you i won't go in it's literally just the reactor which has used up all of the food that i put in it so this is where people come and put more um materials in it to power the whole thing and you can only get to that by leaving and going through that door but this area down here i think is pretty cool because this is a i have made this kind of like a research area we have a scanner room on the end we have the seamoth thing down here which is where the crew works and oh my god i can't get up why can't i get up I literally can't get up. Oh my god, okay. Okay. <laughs> For some reason I couldn't get up. Why has my seamoth gone a funny colour? Okay. I have no clue. But this is just the seamoth, um, like a dock area where they repair and everything like that. I just kind of spammed a bunch of stuff in here. So. We're going out and we are going into the research area. So we have research that way and research this way. This is like a little lab area with some plants to research, some fish to research, a little desk and a bunch of non-functioning things which this is imaginary so they are functioning, okay? They are functioning. Um, and then a little um waste bin and things like that and we have a coffee machine for all the hard work and down here we just have another little alien containment but this one we have um we have uh, some fish that are i don't know stranger for us to um what's the word examine we have two Me i can't remember the name mesma fish and we have some plants which we are going to um which we are going to you know dissect as well are there more eggs in here no okay they've just hatched yeah so we can pick them up and everything yeah the mesmer okay cool so that is the little alien containment there and then we have the scanner room down here which has been scanning away and we found a really creepy deep dark hole which actually is part of the main story which i won't tell you guys um if you don't know already um so yeah this is the scanner room and we have our little cameras about and it just tells us what we can find which is pretty which is pretty cool and we ha I like this, it's like the giant, um, the giant tree. So yeah, that is the base hotel, the hotel base. 
It is called the Shroom Hotel. Let me just cheat it so it's daytime. So we can see it all in its glory. I really do like this. This was a lot of fun to make. It took a lot of time to make. But I'm actually really proud about how it come out. It doesn't look like a lot. And like going around it doesn't seem like a lot. But I... It took a fair amount of time, but I do think that it looks pretty badass. So just thank you guys so, so much for watching this video, and I hope that you enjoyed this little tour of this little hotel. I kind of think too much into it sometimes, and I get a bit carried away, but it took a really short amount of time to show you guys everything that was in it, but it did take quite a while to make I do hope that you guys enjoyed it and you guys like the idea of this. It's pretty cool um, in my opinion but it was a lot of fun to do and I might try and make another kind of base. If you guys have any ideas about what we could do for a base like anything like huge or really big and weird then let me know and I will definitely try and see what we can do. But yeah, just thank you guys so, so much for watching. Hit the like button, leave comments down below. Do not forget to subscribe. And I will see you on the next one. Take care. Bye.